The woman who implicated her own husband for sending ricin-laced letters to the President of the United States and New York City's mayor has now been charged with that crime. The feds say Shannon Guest Richardson has told them she sent the letters and tried to pin it on her husband. Fox Force Calvin Collins was at the home in New Boston today. She's live in Greenville right now. Calvin. Yes, Steve. Well, this is just another twist in this story. Now, those letters were apparently postmarked from Shreveport on May 20th. But then Shannon Richardson called police, turning the uh, pointing the finger at her husband for doing this. Well, a 10-day federal investigation wound up bringing the heat down on her, not him. She done it to get rid of him. The news of Shannon Richardson's arrest didn't surprise some of her neighbors. I wasn't really shocked because... Everything that I heard about him was pretty positive. And it was, he was a good guy. Shannon was often seen walking the streets of her new Boston neighborhood with her five children. Neighbors knew her marriage was on the rocks. They just didn't know how much. And you can do some weird stuff to your husband if you want to get rid of him, but I don't think I'd have thought of that one. The FBI spent three days at the Richardson house last week confiscating property and testing for ricin. They left Saturday and came back for a second round Monday. Now the house is cordoned off and condemned, but residents are happy to have their streets back. It's been a bit unsettling because we're pretty quiet here, a lot of traffic, uh, a lot of, got off of work yesterday and DPS was at the road again asking me where was I going. 36-year-old Richardson, seen here on Facebook, said she'd had bit parts in several TV shows. This picture particularly surprised her neighbors and immediately made them suspicious. What woman wants to have her picture made with an assault rifle to begin with? Nathan Richardson filed for divorce yesterday while his wife is pregnant with his child and now in handcuffs. His attorney said yesterday he fully believes Nathan was intentionally set up. We're looking to, to cooperate fully so that we can establish his innocence and, and move on and ultimately to get divorced and get his life back. Sorry for the family, you know. Sorry that, you know, they had to go through this. I understand they're divorcing, but it's not a good time for anybody. What's still unknown at this point is a motive. It's, you know, people who knew the family say it's possible that Shannon Richardson really hated her husband that much to point the finger of federal authorities at him. But she also has five children, ranging in, ranging in age from four to 19, Steve. Yeah, kind of a mess because those are hers. The five are hers. And then with her current husband, who she's apparently divorcing, she has one on the way. So what happens to all these kids? Well, that's a good question. Um, as far as her unborn child, because of the divorce, uh, the divorce will not be finalized until she gives birth to that child, and then it's likely that the custody would go to Nathan Richardson. Um, but the other five children, ranging in age, again, a pretty vast age difference, uh, he's not their father. So they have several uh, several other fathers in nearby places. We're told that uh, last week they were staying with relatives when they finished school. So um, it's likely they would either go to uh, her parents or some other relatives nearby. Calvert Collins, thank you.